Members of Rocky Mountain PBS. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Lawrence Welk Show, celebrating more than 40 years on television. Now sit back and enjoy the show selected especially for public television. Hi, I'm Sally Hart. Welcome to the Lawrence Welk Show. You usually see me on the show with Sandy Griffith, my partner for 10 years, but now here's my partner for the hour, the Welk Show's country star and my husband, Clay Hart. Your partner for the hour? Well, what about the 23 years we've been married? Well, what about it? Well, that's 201,480 hours. Well, I know, but this hour is our first time as co-host of the Lawrence Spoke Show on public television. Well, you're right, Sally, and we're very happy to be here. As you may know, uh, Clay and I met on the Welk Show in 1969, and we were married in 1974. Now, I'm going to let you in on a little secret to our long relationship. We go out twice a week for a romantic evening, candlelight dinner, music, dancing. He goes on Tuesdays, and I go on Fridays. Hmm. You know, I can't believe that it's been over 20 years since we left the show. Right? I know, it hardly seems possible. We've had a wonderful time. We've had the opportunity to travel and perform throughout the entire world and parts of Iowa. We've performed in Europe several times, too. One time, right after the Berlin Wall came down. Right, and I have a piece of the wall to prove it. Another special performance was when we were hired for the Silver Anniversary Cruise on the Rotterdam. We sailed for 12 days from Hawaii to Hong Kong, remember? Yeah, it was, it was the first time that I'd ever been on a boat. It's called a ship, Sally. Right, right. Like I said, there was champagne and caviar and smooth sailing every night on the boat. It's a ship. Well, moving right along. One of the best moves we made came in 1981 when we moved to Nashville, Tennessee, the country music capital of the world. And parts of Iowa. Uh, did you know that Clay Hart is from the heart of country music? Providence, Rhode Island. Well, that's right, and I've always loved country music. And this program you're about to see is right down my alley. Lawrence Welk salute to country music. Here's the opening number with Clay calling the square dance. <laughs> Backs to the barn. Get to the center and form a star. Now turn that star. Back with the left hand, don't get lost. Meet your honey, pass her by. Catch a new girl on the slide. Now the jet's back out with a full turn around, like an old jack driving on frozen ground. Gal to the center with a right hand star. Gal out with a full turn around, like a pretty little jaybird going downtown. Jet to the center with a right hand star. Break in the center, everybody swing, swing your honey high and low, and around and around and around you go, and now and then left, your left hand, back to your partner, right and left hand, here we go in the old mess wagon, the high wheel broke in the axle dragon, teach your honey, what do you do, promenade home, just you two. When you get home, you balance and swing, swing them boys! Yeah.
Yes, yes, my good friends, we're delighted you all could come to our country and western show. Neil Avang, his hoedown buddies, and our square dancers have set the mood for our show. So let's move right along and meet a boy from Mississippi and a girl from Texas. Guy and Rolna, our very popular husband and wife team. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the tree. Younger than the mountains, blowing like a breeze. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home. Country roads. In the morning hours she calls me The radio reminds me of my home far away Driving down the road I get the feeling That I should have been home yesterday Yesterday Country roads take me home To the place The band's going to play probably one of the biggest hits of all last year in the country field, Garden. Hey, you know who had the big hit record on that song, don't you? Lynn Anderson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a Joe Rizzo arrangement, and I'm sure You know, that, that pretty little Lynn Anderson used to be right here on his show. She used to be part of the musical family. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure that you folks are really going to enjoy hearing the band play this next song. Boy, that, I'm telling you, that Lynn Anderson's really cute. <laughs> Come on, Guy. I think we need to have a little talk. <coughs>
roses in our little garden have all moved away. And have begun to multiply. Our daughter Liz and her husband Jeff gave us our first grandchild this past May. And his name is Salvatore Pasquino Greco. Oh, and of course he is so beautiful. He sure is. Both our children live in Portland, Oregon. Liz is a surgical nurse and our son Hank is an engineer. It seems like only yesterday that they were on the Welk Christmas show with you singing the marvelous toy to them. Yes, that's a memory I'll always cherish. And speaking of memories, Lawrence is about to introduce someone who shared in making our wedding celebration a very fond memory. It was Tanya and Ralna who helped us prepare all the food for our reception party. You remember? Do I? The marriage feast with all our Welk friends. It was a great time. Yes, it was. And more good times are on their way to you right now, courtesy of Lawrence Welk. Next, a young lady I'm rather fond of. Tanya has a country song with a message of hope. Well, I'm tired and weary, but I must toil on till the Lord comes to call me away. Where the morning is bright And the lamb is the light And the night is as fair as the day There will be peace in the valley for me someday There will be peace in the valley for me There'll be no sorrow, no sadness, no trouble will be there will be peace in the valley for me. There will be peace in the valley for me someday. There will is here already with something fitting for these special shows. And here they are, backed up by Neil Vang and Buddy Merrill. Thank you, Bobby and Sissy. And you know, it took a lot of persuading to get Fiddle and Neil to come break out his fiddle and play for us again. That's what it used to be called a few years ago, Fiddle and Neil. Thank you, Fiddle and Neil and Buddy Merrill. You know, I did a little snooping around and I found out that one of Lawrence's favorite country songs is this next one I'm going to do. I figure, what the heck, nothing wrong with a little politicking. It's called, uh, I Really Don't Want to Know. How many I won't 
Nashville, Sally and I decided that we wanted to build our own home. We wanted to be a part of the project. So we hired my brother Tim, who was an architect, to draw the plans. Clay was a contractor. He would get all the bids right. and hire the crews. And my dad, who had just retired, was the overseer. That's right. And Sally was in charge of the interior design and decorating. And she did a great job. You did. Thanks. With the money I had, right? We loved doing it, even with all the challenges and pressures. In fact, we enjoyed it so much that we were hired by TNN to host our own half-hour weekly television show on the subject. It was called Remodeling and Decorating Today. We'd show how to do home repair projects, kind of like Tim the Toolman Taylor. Ar, 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 ar. <laughs> Actually, we were more like the Regis and Kathy Lee of home repair and decorating. I think so. We had a lot of fun with the show, and our home has been a gathering place for friends and family with lots of music and laughter. It's been a wonderful place to come home to that's very gentle on our minds. The show continues with a song that has become a country classic in just a few years, Gentle on My Mind. We bring you an instrumental version featuring Bob Smeal at the piano and Bob Ralston at the box.
Park by the two bobs. Um, congratulations. For what? Well, you played the melody all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it wonderful, huh? Yes, and here's the combination. See? See, the folks, the folks liked it, too. And here's a combination that's hard to beat, a nice blend of words and music, and one of the sweetest voices in television. Ladies and gentlemen, our lovely champagne lady, Norma Simmer. sung and a beautiful sentiment. You know, we couldn't do a country and western show without a song about Texas. So we've worked out a new arrangement on the familiar Yellow Rose of Texas mariachi style. And I'm going to have some help from Bob Ralston on the organ, Mickey McMahon and Johnny Zell on trumpets, and Cousin John Klein on drums.
Lewis of Texas, a favorite of the late President Eisenhower and his charming wife, Mamie. Here's Jimmy Roberts with a song of fate written by the well-known Stuart Hamlin, Bob Ralston at the organ. The chimes of time ring out the news Another day Someone slipped and fell Was that someone you? You may have longed for added strength Your courage to renew Do not be disheartened For I bring hope to you it is no secret what God can do what he's done for others he'll do for you with arms wide open He'll pardon you It is no secret What God can do With arms wide open He'll pardon you It is no What God can do As you heard in the last break, Clay and I really enjoyed building our home in Nashville and hosting our TV show, Remodeling and Decorating Today. Here's a song, as you'll see, that has special meaning to us. If I worked my hands in one, would you still want me? Answer me, babe, yes I would. I'd put you above me. Share my love through loneliness Share my love through sorrow I've given you my holiness Come give me your tomorrow If I were a carpenter And I were a lady I'd marry you anyway We'd have a baby I'd marry you anyway We'd have a baby And now here's a couple of young girls who had more fun and more laughs on the Welk Show than almost anyone. And I should know, because I am one of those girls. Four years ago, when Sandy and Sally joined our musical family, we predicted they would really go places. And they certainly have. This song tells the story. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Across the desert, man, I breathe the mountain air, man. Travel, I've had my share, man. I've been everywhere. I've been 
to Reno, Chicago, Fargo, Minnesota, Buffalo, Toronto, Winslow, Sarasota, Wichita, Tulsa, Ottawa, Oklahoma, Tampa, Panama, Nanaimo, La Paloma, Bangor, Salvador, Amador, Amarillo, Stoughton, Killer, Armadillo, Amarillo, I'm a killer. I've been I'm everywhere, man. Woo! I've been everywhere, man. Cross the desert, fair, man. I breathe the mountain air, man. Travel, I've had my share, man. I've been everywhere. Washington, Houston, Kingston, Texas, Canada, Monterey, Faraday, Santa Fe, Tallapoo, Glen Rock, Black Rock, Little Rock, Apple, Tennessee, Hennessy, Chicopee, Spirit Lake, Grass Lake, Devil's Lake, Crater Lake, for Pete's sakes, I've been everywhere, man, I've been everywhere, man, across the desert, fair, man, I breathe the mountain air, man, travel, I've had my share, man, I've been everywhere. I've been to Pittsburgh, Cockleburg, Rambleburg, Colorado, Onsburg, Rexburg, Vicksburg, Edelman, With so many excellent musicians in our band, it's impossible to feature all of them as often as we'd like to. Here's a fine young trumpet man, Johnny Sell, who hasn't had a solo for quite a while. Listen to Johnny's version of his all-time country favorite, the Tennessee Waltz. proud of you. Gail Farrell has been making great strides in the past year with her singing and piano playing. And for a girl from Durant, Oklahoma, what could be more appropriate than a song titled Oklahoma Hills?
Brooks, vocal piano and arrangement, all by Gail Ferry, by Gail Farrell, a very sweet and very talented young lady. Thank you very much. Who's your friend, Sally? It's Tweety Bird. This is one of the very first backpacks we designed for Warner Brothers after we started our bag manufacturing company back in 1990. Clay and I came up with the idea to make totes and backpacks in the shape of the character's face. Who's your friend? Oh, this is my friend, Mr. Mickey. Mr. Mickey. Uh -huh. Boy, it's amazing what ideas come into your mind in the middle of the night, isn't it? Yeah, especially yours, yeah. Sally. Our company is called Keepsack Characters, and we now manufacture over 40 different styles for Warner Brothers and Disney. So when you go shopping at a retail mall, the Warner Brothers store, Disney World, or Disneyland, you may be seeing our bags. Keepsack's a great little business. Yes, but music is still in my heart. Oh, I know. Me too. So let's get back to the show. Right. I remember this next song just like it was yesterday. I was surrounded by all these pretty girls. You were one of them. I think it's about time we heard from our own Clay Hard, one of the top country singers in the nation. I'm going to ask Clay to take over this next portion of our show, starting with today's number one country song. <laughs> Virgil Cain is my name, and I drove on the Danville train. Till so much cavalry came and tore up the tracks again. In the winter of 65, we were hungry, just barely alive. I took the train to Richmond, it fell, it was a time I remember oh so well. Singing, they went la 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 Like my father before me, I'm a working man. And like my brother before me, I took a rebel stand. Well, he was just 18, proud and brave, but a Yankee left in his grave. I swear by the blood below my feet, you can't raise a cane back up when it's in defeat. Some night, they drove old Dixie down, and all the bells were ringing the night. And all the people were singing, they went la 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 You know, some years ago, a great country entertainer of Ernest Tubb wrote a hit song called Walking the Floor Over You. Now, when Arthur Duncan starts walking the floor, he does it with a beat. Watch.
only step I know is the Nashville stomp. Oh. Two, two left boots and all. Here's a great old country song that I've always liked. And I know you folks will enjoy this version by Dick Dale and our singers. Down in the valley, valley so low Late in the evening, hear that train blow Hear that train blow, love, hear that train blow Late in the evening, hear that train blow train don't stay long, it goes right through, and now it's gone, hear the train blow, before you go, love, for old time's sake, put your arms round me, hear my heart break. Down in the valley, valley so low Late in the evening, hear that train blow The train is gone, love, and out of sight Good night, my darling, darling, good night Now you can bet your bottom dollar that Mary Lou Metzger, Bob, Le Bob Lito, sorry Bob, yeah. and the Hotsy Totsy Boys will get into the spirit of this show. So let's see what happens when we turn them loose on a familiar folk song. Crazy costumes in the comedy routine remind me of the fun we had working with the incredible Red Skelton. He's one of the most fantastic performers we ever worked with. Sally and I were so fortunate to have had two entertainment legends as our mentors, Lawrence Welk and Red Skelton, and we learned so much from them both. They both knew exactly how to please their audiences, and when they found something that worked, they stuck with it. That's right. We opened for Red on many occasions, and every night he'd give Sally a joke that he wanted her to tell in our segment of the show, remember? Then he'd come out and begin his show with the very same joke, and then he'd stand and look at the audience like, have they been stealing my jokes again? It'd always get a big laugh. <laughs> Memories like that, and those we have when we watch shows like this, remind us of how much we've loved our life in show business. Maybe we should start thinking about scheduling a few more appearances this year, Clyde. Sure, yeah. Call 615-377. <laughs> oh, all right. I guess we better get back to the show. And I'll work on our touring schedule later. Okay, good. 
Buddy Merrill came to us in 1955 from Torrey, Utah, a shy, personable teenager. Started in music playing with his father's Western band. Today, Buddy is a recording artist in his own right, and here he is to play one of his recording arrangements. He's joined by his guitar picking pelts, Neil Levang, Guy Hovis, and Clay Hart. careful that Buddy doesn't steal the show. <laughs> Recently, our fine Irish tenor, Joe Feeney, bought a little ranch in Simi Valley. So Joe feels right at home here at our country show. Now here's our Irish cowboy and the gang with a beautiful country ballad. Joe? If you're in Arizona, I'll follow you. If you're in Minnesota, I'll be there too. You'll have a million chances to start anew. Because my love is endless for you. My heart cries for you, sighs for you, dies. left the roses since you've left me. The birds have left my window since you've left me. I'm lonely as a sailboat that's lost at sea. I'm lonely as a human can be. My
Joe. And right now, the whole gang is going to get together on a old country classic called the Wabash Cannonball. So pick it, Neil. really loved playing in the Welk Band alongside Buddy and Neil, and all the guys were great musicians. There was never a dull minute backstage. Mr. Welk enjoyed the camaraderie of his musical family, especially when we were on the road. Clay had the unique opportunity of getting to know Mr. Welk when he traveled with him during the year that he and Minnie Pearl were co-chairman of the National Cancer Society. That's right, Sally. For that entire year, I traveled with him to all his Cancer Society engagements. And I'd play my guitar and sing or accompany him while he played his accordion. And we had some very nice times together. Yeah. Lawrence would have Clay play some of the songs that Clay had written. Here's one of Mr. Welk's favorites. Some say life is a game, others say no. Some people live for today, some for tomorrow. Some people's life is a sign, others Me, I'm trying my best to just get along. Red, yellow, and green, orange, and blue. Friend, you be kind to me, and I'll be kind to you. Square circles and lines and triangles too. I wish you a happy life. Let me live mine too. Well, thanks for being with us. We really enjoyed this hour with you. Goodbye for now. Bye. It was a boat. It's called a ship, Sally. <laughs> Tonight, the program that will tell you things about one of America's first ladies you may not have known before. Join us for the American Experience program, Eleanor Roosevelt, tonight at 8, here on Rocky Mountain PBS.